Hello, and welcome to Cinemania with Ellis Charles Hoffmeister. Uh, I did not watch very many films over the last couple of days, and then I watched three films yesterday because I was done with my play and I was in decompression mode. So I watched uh, The Brides of Dracula, Daisies, and The Private Eyes. I don't know why you would know that over me, but... That was apparently the look I gave. Um, of the three, I would say that the best was Daisy's, Vera Chitilova's, um, you know, feminist masterpiece, Czechoslovakian. Uh, just absolutely great. Uh, five out of five. Crepe paper burning is what I'd give it. Um, highly recommend. It's, it's a classic. I'd never seen it. Um, it was stunning. I mean, I, I don't even know where to start with it because I feel like I'm just gonna butcher it in any description but um I want to explore her work more and uh it's it's a film that I've you know heard reference for forever and felt like I needed to see and is very important and is very you know it's a very important piece of art so um Daisies from 66 I believe and uh yeah 66 it said so on the copyright at the end of it. Um, it's currently streaming on HBO Max, and I think it's also on, um, which will soon be Max, and then it is also on Criterion, I believe. And of course, the big news of today is that the writer's strike has happened. So there we go. Let's give writers what they deserve to be paid. Um, I also watched The Brides of Dracula, which is a film that I had seen before, I, no, I'd seen the first chunk of it before, maybe like the first half hour, and the first half hour is kind of snoozy but the last half hour is um or 45 minutes is a lot of fun and it's also it's a sequel to horror of dracula but without christopher lee's dracula there's baron meinster instead um but it also is wedged between horror of dracula and dracula prince of darkness which dracula prince of darkness is one of my favorite films of all time i watched it when i was young and i fell in love with it saw a beautiful beautiful I think 35 millimeter print of it um at the quad cinema which was wonderful and was just like a dream come true but I've only seen horror of Dracula probably like once the whole way through and then chunks of it but I've watched Dracula Prince of Darkness many 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 times um and so it was interesting to see this it has Peter Cushing in it um the woman who plays the like the the person who watches after the vampires was incredible uh but i forgot her name um so i will have to look that up and then i watched the private eyes which is don knotts and um tim conley who are both just delightful and i'd recommend if you like say the ghost of mr chicken or haunted honeymoon um it's one of those films that is kind of like a horror comedy it's shot uh that same castle in north carolina they also used or a state whatever um, they also used for the exteriors, I believe, of Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's a, it's a kind of Sherlock Holmes send up from 1980. And, uh, yeah, I think also, uh, horror, no, Brides of Dracula is also from 60. Whew, it is Tuesday, guys. Um, the week is starting and it is going along and... Let's just go for it. Uh, if you want a film that I would recommend, I would recommend, uh, Brian Forbes uh, is Masterpiece Seance on a Wet Afternoon, um, which is just great with Richard Attenborough and Kim Stanley. So that's a huge recommendation if you want to watch a spooky little beautifully shot black and white um, film. And I know that somewhere in this video I have messed up a lot of everyone's names, so my apologies right now. But um, y'all have a great week and enjoy your work week, and there will be more Cinemania on Friday. I'm a shark.